wife cheated in front of our son. My soon-to-be ex-wife and I are both 26 and we have a 5-year-old son and 10-month-old girl together. I work as one of the managers at an IT company whilst she works as a receptionist at a hospital, she hasn't been working much due to pregnancy and maternity leave. I'm quite an outgoing person whereas she is quite introverted and only really enjoys spending time with close family members, her family plus me and the children, and friends she's known since childhood. On Saturday July 1, 2023, an ex-employee from my place of work, age 23, came to my house thinking I would be around because he knows I don't work on Saturdays. He wanted to give me important documents that I had left at his house the previous day when we were discussing work-related matters. My wife opened the door and didn't know who he he was so he explained himself that he works for me and then she allowed him inside and offered him coffee whilst he waits for me, I was at my parents' house 5 miles away. This is what happened next according to this ex-employee as best I can remembering him saying over the phone two days ago, our conversation. Employee, do you know about me and your wife? Me, what do you mean, explain. Employee, remember that day last month when you weren't home and I came to drop off documents and sorry because I should have called you beforehand? Me, yes so what? Employee, after your wife invited me in and offered to make coffee, we began to talk and quickly bonded over literature. She was very friendly and I know what I'm about to tell you was very wrong of me to do but, we started kissing and your son who came into the living room at that moment then asked who I was and she told him not to worry that he should just go watch TV. We then went upstairs and, you know, slept together. Me, are you joking because if you're just trying to cause trouble, don't. Employee, no it's not a lie. I just thought I would tell you because that little boy saw his mother with someone else and years down the line if you ever did find out, I wouldn't want you to think that I scared a little boy without caring. Remember that your wife is the married one, not me. I didn't force her. Me, I don't believe you at all. Employee, that is why I resigned, July 7th, because I didn't know whether you knew or not and would rather resign that have a sacking on my record. Me. I'll ask her and if true, I'll deal with you appropriately. Employee, okay but like I said, I didn't force her not did I do anything illegal. You won't hear from me again, sorry. I was livid with anger and hurt at the same time. This is an employee who only started working for me in May and I'm certain she never even knew he existed up until that day. I asked her who denied it at first but then owned up to what happened after she realized the severity of the situation including the employee quitting. She said she is very sorry and doesn't know what came over her. I then said, apparently our son saw you, and then she began crying. I said to her that I was going to stay with my parents for a few days whilst I decide what to do. My parents and even her family members too are very supportive of me and do not condone what she did. I've seen my son on FaceTime and baby daughter too and told them that I will be with them soon. I've decided that there is no coming back from this and will definitely get a divorce from my wife but the only issue is custody and finances. I don't want to be like the many men who get a divorce due to the fault of their wives only to lose the house and only see the kids on the weekends. How do I go about this to ensure I don't lose the house and that I see my kids as equally if not more than her? I live in England by the way. Update. Hello guys. In the few days since I last posted, I've spoken to my wife about getting a divorce and she is very upset about it but agrees that it is inevitable since we've been no longer living together and I've made it abundantly clear that there's no coming back from what happened, so there you have it. I've spoken to my parents' lawyer and all the legal stuff, I don't know too much about that, have been drawn up to ensure that my case is successful. I know that I will keep the house, it's in my name only, and I'm willing to co-parent equally with my soon-to-be ex-wife. I don't know how the courts will decide the living arrangements of my children in terms of on what days they get to spend time with each parent but me and their mother are in agreement of a 50-50 custody share as we discussed although I'd be more than happy to have my children full-time too. I'm just looking forward to the future now. Someone asked Opie. She was never loyal anyway sorry Opie. She cheated at the first opportunity too seemingly within an hour. How do you cheat on your husband after one convo? Zero loyalty. Oh, P replied. I don't know either. When I was confronting her on this, she said that she liked feeling desired by someone else other than me. She was basically trying to tell me that she wasn't happy with being intimate with only me. That's okay though because now that we've separated and are going to get a divorce, she's free to be with whoever she likes. I'm only interested in the children and them having a nurturing life despite all the changes that has and will still follow. She also wants nothing but happiness for the children too which is good at the very least. 